Hey everybody, it's Ian from UKEartsWork.info. It's sounding a bit weird because my sinuses have gone crazy the last few days and one ear's blocked, so I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> if you can hear me, I hope you can hear me better than I can hear myself. Anyway, <clears throat> this is a video that I really wish I didn't have to make and it's one that occasionally I have to do. It's a warning video. And it's for this. This morning I had a mega urgent text message from a band that I know um, I'm not their agent or anything but I helped them out a few years ago uh, I'm a UKBI registered licensed sponsor I've been for many years so I issue things called certificates of sponsorship I'm not a licensed immigration person so I can't give immigration advice but I can explain things around immigration relating to creative sponsorship anyway some of you might remember that last year I appeared in The Guardian newspaper. I appeared on TV, BBC, German TV, Austrian TV, radio, all sorts of places, because two different bands had been refused entry to the UK on something called a permitted paid engagement letter of invitation, just where you toll, poll up to a UK border, show a letter of invitation, and away you go, come on in, ladies and gentlemen, except they weren't allowed in for various reasons. There are links below to the original articles, if you're interested. <coughs> now, recently, and this is not just musicians, this is anybody working in creative arts. Recently, something called a permitted paid engagement visa, which is really for people who need a visa to come in, was scrapped by the UK government and rolled into something called the standard visitor visa. That means, without going into lots of detail, <clears throat> that you can turn up at the border, if you're a visa national, you have a standard visitor visa, and then say, please, uh, border force officer, um, I'm coming in, I'm allowed to work for the first 30 days under a permitted paid engagement, even though that visa doesn't exist anymore. All right, let's park that for a moment. What that means is that non-visa nationals, people who don't need a visa to come into the UK, before the visa was scrapped, could use that concession to come in as long as they had the same documentation, if requested, that a visa national would have if they were trying to come into the UK to work. So proof of professional status, proof of sufficient earnings, etc. Uh, proof you're there for whatever reason you're being there and you've been paid. There are two things that can stop that happening in the past, which is what happened to the two different German bands at different points of entry last year. One is that you must have been invited as an expert in your profession. Who decides who's an expert? There is no definition in the rules. So it's down to the immigration officer, the board force officer. Two, you should have been invited to do whatever you're doing as your main job overseas, i.e. being a musician, being an actor, being a dancer, being a model, blah, blah, blah. This must be your main job. So in both those cases, the immigration officers decided to say no. Okay, that's the past. <clears throat> so the situation now is you can still come in on a letter of invitation using the rules. However, the border force officers can, if they decide to, decide that they interpret those rules in the way I've just explained. And yet again, this morning, a band this time from the Czech Republic, very well known, uh, not very well known, but they're, they're not a beginner band. They're, they've been around, they've been working for a long time. The first time, about two years ago, I think it was, they had certificates of some sponsorship. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, like a lot of bands, um, and theatre groups or whatever, everyone's on a budget. So those certificates or that service has a cost attached to it. I, as a UKBI sponsor, have a certain charge that I make to people to do that. It's a professional charge. It's not mega, but it's reasonable and fair in the professional services that I offer. Why am I saying all this? Do I want more custom? No, <laughs> I'm mega busy, but... I will always give honest advice. I'll always tell people they can do this. You can come in on a letter of engagement under this route if the officer allows you to do so and interprets the reason you're coming in and who you are and what you are. 
However, what happened with the check band, just to go back again, sorry this is a long video, but it's important that it's made clear what happened. So the first time they came in on the tour post-Brexit, they used certificates of sponsorship. The second time, last time, they decided just to use invitation letters. Yay, they were let in. Exactly the same as what happened today. Exactly the same letters, exactly the same procedure, they're exactly the same people in the same situation. However, the immigration officer this morning point blank refused to let them in unless they came in under certificates of sponsorship because they were being paid. Now, I'm not going to go in, into detail about what was said to who, who was said to what. That's the bottom line. If you come in on the permitted paid engagement concession route, which is still part of the rules, you run a risk of the immigration officer on duty interpreting the rules as they are absolutely entitled to do under the system as it stands, that you are not allowed to come in using that particular method. Fortunately, these guys got sorted out. And I was able to give them some advice and they felt much happier doing that. Now, I'm going to just quickly talk about the three things. I've just said it earlier, but there are three things now that can stop you coming in on a permitted paid engagement concession. The first one is that you must be defined, or in their eyes, if questioned, must be defined as an expert in your chosen profession. Remember, permitted paid engagement concession is not just for creative arts, it's for everything. You could be an IT engineer, or uh, I don't know, um, what, a designer of uh, building, architect, <laughs> that's the word I was looking for, designer of buildings, bridges, whatever. So you must be an expert in your chosen profession. Number two, the job must be your main job overseas. Now, if you have other jobs and you're a musician in particular, the immigration officer might say, mm, you've got another job. I don't think musician is your main job. Therefore, I'm refusing your entry. Two rules to stop you coming in. Now, the third one is a bit more obscure, but it relates specifically to the rules that I mentioned in a video a couple of weeks ago. And that is if you are coming in on permitted paid engagement concession route, whether you're a visa national coming in on standard visitor or using this concession, there is a rule that states you must not be directly selling anything to the general public. Otherwise, you can't use that route. You got any merch with you in your bag and the officer said, what's this? And you say, oh, it's just a few CDs that we're going to or see these, whatever it is. Um, what are you doing with them? Well, we're gigging musicians, so we're going to sell them uh, to the public. Oh. Now, you can do that on a stick of sponsorship because there's no such rule related to uh, that concessionary route. However, you cannot do that if you're coming in on the permitted paid engagement route. I'm going to link the last two videos to this video so you can see it and look at all the documentation. Otherwise, the description in this video will be about 10 miles long. And I'm really sorry, it's a very long video by my standards. I think it's about 10 minutes long, this one. Um, but it's important, please, people, as people come more and more, more, I can't put this, as people are traveling more and more due to the summer season hotting up hopefully in web terms as well, then you need to be aware of what is happening. Now, there's one last thing I almost forgot to say. You cannot use this permitted paid engagement route going through the island of Ireland. It's not possible because you have to report, uh, sorry, the Republic of Ireland, because you have to report to a UK immigration officer the Republic of Ireland still being part of the EU, there are no UK border force officials there. And because the Republic of Ireland is part of Ireland as a whole, of course, it's part of something called the common travel area. 
it's complicated. Anyway, I'm going to stop there because I'm no doubt confused everybody. If you've got any questions, drop them in the comments. Please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so you get more of these videos. Hopefully not scary ones. Uh, but just be aware. Just know what's happening. And be aware of the truth. Don't take anything for granted. Everything I tell you in these videos is fact checks, not just with my own research, but also talking to professionals in this side of the industry. Um, now, whether it be uh, UK visas and immigration, which I know quite a lot about, it's been a licensed sponsor, whether it's Carnets, merchandise, etc., etc., etc. I talk to a lot of people before I put these videos out. And they are people in the creative arts industries and in transportation, etc., who really know what they're talking about. So you can be sure that what we put forward, I put forward on these videos, has been checked, double checked, and triple checked. However, if we ever make mistakes, let me know. I will always check it, I will come back to it, and I'll rectify it if we made a mistake. I'm saying no more, it's already gone on too long. Take care everybody, keep on touring, keep on sharing your art with everybody you can, and uh, here's to a better, brighter future for everybody on this planet as quickly as possible. Bye for now.